Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. First off, I apologize for the poor video appearance. It's my day off and I'm just too lazy to set things up just to get this quick video out. Um, so I want to talk about um, volunteering going to Houston. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys asking if I am going to Houston to be a nurse there to help out. And first off, I want to say that my heart goes out to everyone in Houston and the surrounding areas. I've been watching the news and seen pictures and it just has totally rocked everyone's world over there and I just can't fathom, just can't fathom like what it would be like to be there. I can only imagine and I know a lot of people are struggling and there's been a lot of people who have stepped up, nurses, firemen, policemen, emergency personnel, just the regular old person in the grocery store have stepped up to really help out and I think that's tremendous. So a lot of you guys saw on my Instagram that I signed up through um, the Texas Disaster Volunteer Registry website which I will have linked down below to be a nurse volunteer for Houston, the state of Texas, whatever, if they were to need me. So I did sign up. I have not heard anything back yet. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how that whole process works as far as how they select people or um, you know I'm assuming it's just a volunteer thing I don't know if they would cover like your travel costs any of that um, so I'm not sure on the specific specifics of that um, but I have signed up I have not heard anything back yet um, I really would love to go and help out volunteer whatever I could do I think it would be a tremendous experience. I think it'd be very humbling and if I were called and it worked out then I absolutely would go. I know you also can sign up through the Red Cross which I'll have linked down below. I guess the reason I haven't done this yet is because the Red Cross I was reading um, requires a nine-day contract where you would be working for about seven days but you'd have the one day for travel there and one day for travel home and your travel costs and like um, lodging all that is covered however I can't commit a full nine days at least not at this point to go to Houston or the surrounding areas because I do have a job here that I have to work at and I know a lot of people are at my work are trying to help out and go and but we've been so short staffed at work that if I was leaving to go help it out in Houston, which would be a wonderful thing and I know that I could like really dedicate my time and help out, I would also be leaving behind my own work and my coworkers and leave them potentially to be struggling as well. So I know it's a different type of struggling and suffering, but nonetheless, I don't want to inconvenience my nursing job to go and do something else, if that makes sense. I really, really do want to go volunteer, but I want it to be able to work out and uh, all of that. So I hope that answers some of your guys' questions. Again, I'll have those links down below. You can sign up to um, volunteer even if you're not a nurse, if you're a nurse practitioner, CNA, um, I think just the regular old whatever you do, you can sign up and you put in like your certifications that you have, whether it's your nursing license or maybe you have your CPR or your first aid, you put in all of your skills when you sign up, at least through the Texas Disaster um, Volunteer Registry website. Um, it asked me a bunch of questions as far as like what my skills are and experience is. So if you are wanting to sign up, Go check out those links. Again, my heart goes out to everyone that's in Texas that's suffering from this or the surrounding areas. I know it's not just Houston, even though they keep saying Houston on the on the news, um, but I will help out in any way that I can. So thank you guys uh, for watching this video. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and yeah, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.